All right, I'm also making a short video on the mags and uh, reloads. As a shooter of a semi-automatic pistol, which you probably are, um, it's a good idea to have a spare mag on hand, not only to have more ammo at your disposal if you need it, but also because oftentimes a malfunction with a semi-auto is mag-related, so you'll want a spare on hand um, to uh, get your weapon back in operation. So, uh, also, um, you might want to have your spare mag somewhere where you can get to it relatively quickly. Um, I use pouches uh, outside the waistband ordinarily for church, and um, you're going to want to orient your rounds outward, downrange, towards your threat. And I'll show you why in a second. So, you're firing you find yourself, you've run dry. Now, at the moment you realize you run dry, your, your support hand, whatever, it needs to come off the weapon and start right for your mag pouch. Meanwhile, your right hand is going to give a little flick as it hits the mag release button, just to make sure, like that. And while it's doing that, just to make sure it gets out of that mag well. And, and while you're doing that, this hand is getting out the new mag. And your index finger is going to be along the edge of the, the front edge of the mag, right up here, pointing right at here at the uh, at the round at the actual projectile. So um, the reason for that is you've been pointing at things your whole life. It's very intuitive. You're going to rely on uh, experience, training, and you know, in intuition from a, a lifetime of uh, just existing. And you've been pointing at things your whole life, and you could probably touch the, your finger to your pinky in the dark. So all that going for you, it's a great way to get a mag in there without too much fumbling, which will cost you time and could get you hurt. So um, a good idea is to uh, put the finger along the edge and then put it right up here towards the opening of the magwell. Once it's right up here in the, neck, in the neighborhood of the pinky and the magwell, you're in a place to flatten out your palm and get it in there firmly, but not too much force to damage the feed lips. And so, um, you can immediately get your pistol back into action. That is how I recommend one does reloads. If you have a better method, that's great.